companies have made a lot of progress since the 1990s in shifting towards sustainability, but we can't say that everyone has benefited equally from these efforts. Minorities and lower income residents are increasingly being pushed out of their neighborhoods by greening projects such as ecological corridors, new parks and gardens, or restored waterfront. The result is often higher housing costs, so instead of improving the lives of all residents, those projects end up displacing the most vulnerable ones. Our research focuses on environmental justice in the context of urban sustainability. So we start from a basic premise. If we want to have healthy urban environments that are accessible to everyone, regardless of race or ethnicity or income, then we need to understand the underlying sources and patterns of inequities. With this knowledge, we can create interventions for cities that make them both greener and socially just. We're a team of researchers from the Autonomous University of Barcelona. Our members come from diverse backgrounds, including urban planning, sociology, geography, policy studies, economics, and public health. What we do essentially is examine urban change and redevelopment as it relates to environmental planning, sustainability, or neighborhood upgrading, both in the global north and south, and translate that research to affect policy making. So on one level, we're working with municipal governments to help them assess urban sustainability initiatives, but we're also working with community groups on the ground to help them contest inequities. We also raise awareness through public seminars with local colleagues as well as international scholars. For us, this is an important way to bring conversations about health equity, race and ethnicity, and social justice to a wider audience. I think it is possible and necessary to build green, resilient, and healthy cities. But this cannot happen at the expense of others. Cities need to come up with a model of sustainability that considers the needs and vulnerabilities of all citizens, and this is what ultimately motivates our work at BCNUEJ.